Carrie from the library. Uh, I am the Youth Services Outreach Technician for the Monroe County Library Services, and I'm here to say hello to all my school age friends before school is done for the summer. I wanna remind everybody that if you need a library card, all you have to do is call 241 5770 choose option number four, leave your message with your name, your address, your phone number, uh, your birth date, and someone will call you with the library card number that you can use right away to check out downloadable materials and will send you the actual library card. Once you have your card, you can go online at, everybody should know this by now, mymcls.com. And if you click on downloadable content, you are gonna see books, movies, music, magazines, comic books, all that you can download for free. And we've increased the number of things that you can check out each month. There's even bonus borrows, which means you can borrow even more stuff. Check them all out. And remember that those items will check themselves back in. So I hope you have a great time with them. Once summer gets here, I'll be hosting some online summer reading programs. I'll tell you about a book that you can download online and give you some activities that you can do with it. I'm gonna throw in some riddles, maybe some contests. So I hope that you join us online this summer. And when our branches are open again, we may be doing a pickup summer reading program where you can come and get things that will deliver to you curbside. So as you can see, our buildings may be closed, but we are still providing service to you. And we hope that you check out all the amazing things that are happening now at the library and will continue to roll out all summer long. And now, for my Monroe Public School friends, I have made a solemn promise that I will read a particular book to you once a year until you are in 12th grade. Every time I come to school, somebody will ask me, did you bring, did you bring, did you bring? The book with no pictures. So before I send everybody off to a summer that I hope is filled with reading and amazing books that you use expression and you choose because you love, we're gonna show one more time what it is to be boring, and expressive when you read. So this, my friends, is the book with no pictures. Here we go. This is a book with no pictures. It might seem like no fun to have someone read you a book with no pictures. It probably seems boring and serious, except there's that expression that makes you wonder what's coming next. Here is how books work. Everything the words say, the people reading the book have to say, right? That's how a book works. No matter what, that's the deal, that's the rule. So that means even if the words say blork, blork, wait, what? That doesn't even mean anything. Let's go on. Blorf. Wait a second, what? Well, this isn't the kind of book I wanted to read. And I have to say every word the book says. I am a monkey who taught myself to read. Hey, I'm not a monkey. And now I am reading you this book with my monkey mouth and my monkey voice. That is not true. I am not a monkey. Yes, I am a monkey. Also, I am a robot monkey. <laughs> and my head is made of blueberry pizza. Wait a second. Is this whole book a trick? Can I stop reading, please? Did y'all just yell no? I heard you. All right. And now it's time for me to sing you my favorite song. A song? Do I really have to sing? Hang on a minute. Let me think. <clears throat> me, 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 me. Uh, my, hang on, I got it. 
glug, glug, glug. My face is a bug. I dance for breakfast right off the rock. I think a few lights just went out. This book is ridiculous. Can I stop reading yet? Well, you guys, that's your life. There are more pages and I have to read the rest. Uh, all right, my only friend in the whole wide world is a hippo named Boo Boo Butt. Boo Boo Butt. <laughs> oh, and also, the kids I'm reading this book to are the best kids ever in the history of the entire world. Now, usually I ask your teachers if that's true, but since you're all listening from home, I'm asking. And these kids, it says, are the smartest kids too because these kids chose this book even though it has, everybody all together, no pictures. Because kids know this is the book that makes grown-ups have to say silly things and make silly sounds like, remember teeny words are teeny things? Oh no.